traditionally West Point tried to train people to be effective soldiers and so we tried to teach them tactics and we tried to teach the technical skills. After the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War, everything changed at West Point. We had to adapt to a much more uncertain environment. In Afghanistan and in Iraq, we were quickly finding that young officers were going to be expected to deal with very complex global issues, cultural issues, the tribal leaders. And in that setting, an individual who had a sensitivity to those issues was going to excel. And there really was very little room for failure. Failure meant people getting killed. Well, I never spoke Chinese in Afghanistan, but I did find myself in what we would call key leader engagements. So these are meetings with government or tribal officials. One of the real benefits of doing a cultural immersion is your first time doing those types of meetings is not in Afghanistan where the stakes are high. You get a practice round before the stakes are raised on you. We did a comprehensive study to find out what value these cultural immersion experiences had for the cadets. The commanders thought that it was extremely valuable to have had lieutenants who had this experience as cadets because in virtually every overseas deployment they're going to a different culture and commanders said they did not want their lieutenants to be facing culture shock at the same time as they were facing combat shock. My son took over a company and prepared to take them to Afghanistan. When he got to Afghanistan, he was posted to a very isolated post in Kunar province, and they were getting attacked continually. But not only did he have military requirements, but he had over 25 village chiefs and, and local tribal leaders that were, he was responsible for. So he'd be the one expected to run the Lejervas, the various meetings. It just so happened, I ended up at his combat outpost for, for about a week. While I was there, we were attacked twice. While I was there, I had a chance to meet some of the village chiefs who were actually his allies that were fighting against the extremists. And when talking to some of the tribal leaders who talked greatly about him and his effectiveness, they liked him. The village elders adopted him as their son, but I also looked to him as their leader. The Afghan battalion commander relied on him very much for advice and recommendations. He called him his brother. It was a direct result of the kind of education he had at West Point. The immersion programs that he had the opportunity to have allowed him to understand how to deal with the complexities of cultural issues and keep a sense of humor and talk to the folks in a way that's not patronizing and build their confidence that he understands them. I believe strongly these immersion programs are absolutely critical not only to the nation's future, they save lives. The entire organization can't be led by a single person with an understanding of the culture and the mission and the, the people they're dealing with. It's got to be organic to the organization. It's got to be in its DNA. We've got to be able to understand that we are not going to run into ourselves around the world. We're going to run into other cultures. And if we can't converse with them, if we can't appreciate them, if we can't deal with them effectively, we're going to be much less effective than we have to be.